Rip. Reset. If we had been able to uh, clinch that one, that could have been... That was a pretty good run. Trying to get under four minutes. I think we could do it. Yeah, now the game's not resetting itself. That helps a lot. All right. Second place, Andy. Speedrunning. Whodunit. Pinball. Elevator. Completion, including catching the killer on the roof. Let's go. Clunk. Uh, song requests are live. Uh, it's a Nightbot DJ feature. You can do exclamation mark SR in chat. And then you drop either a YouTube link or a keyword search. And Nightbot will add that to the queue. You can request up to two songs in the queue at a time. And then when you hear your next song, you can add another one. I'm open to all genres. We were, uh, we were playing some, some fire songs earlier. That was pretty fun. Kind of riffing on the fact that it's really hot here in Portland. Come on, elevator. Oh, we don't have the key. That's cool. Perfect. Take a lap on the basement. That is a required floor. Um, rather than let the multi-ball ball save sequence go through, I just tilt out. It seems to save 20 or 30 seconds. At some point we need to get this penthouse key. Oh, nope, never mind. We've got it. You can tell because it's lit up on the playfield. So at some point, random bouncing will eventually get you the penthouse key. It's a pretty sneaky target to even do on purpose, even if you practice it. Okay, we're always going to pick the left side. That's the faster option of the two. In this run, we're not trying to solve the case with the phone. We're trying to use the roof hurry up sequence um, that we get at the end of the elevator. <laughs> All right, let's go. Come on. Come on. El Saxo, welcome. Thanks for the follow. How's it going? Oh, seventh floor elevator madness. This could be what we need. So we're playing this a little differently than uh, normal, we're not going for like high scores, just trying to complete the elevator sequence as quickly as possible. So every time we get up into this big center loop de ramp and go out the middle exit, that collects a floor. And you can see as we go through it, it animates on the screen there what floors are left. Once you collect one, it just disappears. And then once we collect them all, we can go to the roof. Try to catch the killer. I don't know if that awarded us a floor or what. I've hit the lap timer. There's our penthouse party. It's our final ball, so no uh, shenanigans draining out or anything, which would be my normal strat here. Make sure we're hitting some switches. Keep that timer running. Speaking of timers running, our timer's running here. Three minutes, 18, 19, 20. When will this mode ever end? It's supposed to be only 20 seconds. Thank you. Nailed it. All right, final phase, roof chase. We need one orbit, followed by the phone. Let's go, let's get it under four. We can do it. Here we go, and backhand it, got it. Get in the phone. Bounce it. Hit your shot. Come on. Choke it up. Choke it up. If we don't hit this shot quickly enough, we'll have to go back and do the orbit chase. Here we are, back to the orbit chase. Okay, and come on, phone. Got it. Boom, 401. Whew. Going for under four. We got 401.62. Pretty close. I feel good about that. That's worth at least another uh, another couple of uh, attempts. Put, a, put that in my log. Okay, we could we could play this multi ball, I guess, for fun. Oh yeah, four oh one. 
elevator champion. Surprised there's not a initials on this game for completing the elevator. It's not something that normally happens in a you know standardized game. Unless unless you're intentionally seeking it out, which we were. Kind of reminds me of like Elvira scared stiffs like spider champion. You know, you get the you get the multi-ball, you get paid for doing it, but it doesn't let you put your initials 